Hello everybody, how are you going? Welcome back to Tricky Towers, where I've been trying my hand at improving using the online battles versus a whole variety of players, but I do want to see have I actually been improving via means of the single player. And so if I go endless and just try and beat my best, hopefully I can do it. Now I'm going to be starting off with a puzzle challenge just because I do believe that it is going to be my best one. I just have to get my brain back into how all the pieces sit. That will not sit. You will go there, I guess. And then let me just continue on from there as hmm, I'm not really liking it I don't have any lightning I don't have any vine I have nothing of the sort and you should fit down there and hopefully not pull things over yes you will then uh, yeah sure I think that will be better and then placing this on top and then yeah continuing on from there so it's really okay that's right I completely forgot that the line moves I was going how does this work 54 is my best actually that's honestly I don't think that bad in the grand scheme of things I do have to now work in with the other bricks though and that is something that I completely forgot about so it isn't exactly like online mode but that's all right I can afford to be just having to be a little bit more malleable with my mind as that's kind of the entire point of this game mode just to see how good am I compared to what I used to be? I'm already at 14 though, but I just don't feel like I'm, oh, that felt very, very close. I just don't feel like I'm that far ahead of where I once was, but we shall see. If I can beat it first try, I'll be convinced that at least I have definitely improved. Let me just put that over there. That's a shame that I've moved it half a block though. I'd moved it and nudged it. Continuing on, and things are looking all right. Even though I did have that little bit of a hiccup with a half block, I think surely at this rate, given what everything's looking like and how it's all fitting together, I would hope and pray that I can beat my score from before. Already now we're nearly at 30 and there's no real sign that I should just suddenly be dying. I'm not suddenly running out of time. I don't believe that's a thing, but I'm not running out of space. I'm not running out of room. I'm not running out of pieces and places to be putting pieces or anything like that. It's all just having a spot to fit and that's good that's exactly what you want i am now however starting to run out a little bit more room only one more piece to go before it moves up though and so i can put this cube over on the right and bugger it off there we go i would love to be able to put that right there but of course that piece is in the way and that, well, that little blocky thing whatever you want to be calling it i mean i guess if i was attempting to beat some high score going into the thousands and thousands of pieces like some people seemingly can it would make all the difference all those little tiny gaps but that's just not going to be me i'm just continuing to just fill all the easy over open holes. That last long piece nearly did catch me off guard though as I wasn't too sure where I could possibly be fitting it however at least this one will just finally lastly just go down there and I'm starting to run out of room which I'm not too keen about. I mean surely at this rate if I somehow lost from here I would be devastated and so at least so far so good in terms of that's now 54 matching my personal best and it hasn't felt like too much of a struggle and everything has kind of just gone together however at this rate with still eight pieces left to go I don't think I'm going to be beating it by much and I don't know if I'll even get to the next line but I'll just put this oh no that was just such a oh no oh that was just lazy minded half a block off and there was only two pieces in that entire tower that were half a block off <laughs> one down below and the final finishing one oh either Way. I'm happy that I easily, I would say, even though it was a silly mistake, easily handily beat my previous score. But alright, now just time to change tax a little bit now, as obviously the water will be rising and will be chasing me all the way to the top. Obviously, we do not have the standard people where you have to be racing them, but the race of the water will still prove to be a problem in the long term, but I'm not too sure. Is it exponential? Is it faster? Does it speed up? Is it just constant with the placement? I, I'm not too sure, but I'll just continue focusing, hopefully, on just getting taller. And look, of course, I can also take some of my other lessons on board from my previous mistake like trying not to be placing half blocks I mean I think I'm about to be losing that entire yes I'm losing that entire half of the tower which isn't too good as that means my foundation is majorly majorly compromised kind of from the get-go I just don't have a nice sturdy base I mean I guess actually to be honest I might as well be using my power-ups and that will play a big big key role long term so you know what vines it is right now and now like I was saying that my entire structural integrity is completely compromised and I believe that the water oh even though it did just go back down is about to catch up to me as this Oh, honestly, I'm about to lose this entire topper right here as I just can't put anything as the entire thing's swaying around all over the place. I mean, I guess I might as well just try and build over here, I guess. But nope, that is going to be me it and out. And my goodness, my score in the end was way lower than my personal best. And it wasn't helpful that I just 
didn't use any of the power-ups from the get-go, but now that I've got that in my mind, let's just see, can I beat it for round two? Like I said, puzzle, I believe, or historically is my best showing, and then we'll just go down from there and see how much I still need to improve in other areas of the game to really try and be a more rounded, well-versed player. I've also just been throwing in a whole bundle of nudges at the moment, just really trying to underpin that entire side, just to give me more stability, really, as that was the downfall of my last one, of course, and that is the main thing, just if you can learn from your mistakes, it will make all the difference that's how I see people just absolutely flying up because I've clearly just got a lot of experience and know exactly how everything balances you know I've said before I don't know why sometimes my cube seemingly falls off and other people seemingly stay on I still am yet to know why that is maybe it's magic maybe it's experience maybe it's hacks I have no idea either way I will continue on and just go to the best of my ability I think I would definitely use this concrete just to slam that down and really lock that entire tower in so I can't move whatsoever it was really the perfect piece as much as I probably could have afforded to make the entire thing wider I think that just works just as well in this circumstance as I'm trying to go tall not wide not survive just height to the absolute extreme I mean 258 it does I believe that's better than my last score I mean, that's better than the score I finished at. I don't know where I was at before I lost my entire tower, but look at this. This is so much happier than it was last time. And it's amazing what happens when you actually use your concrete. And now for the vine as well. Um, I don't really have a good spot for it, I don't think, just right this second. If you go down there, maybe this one will do, just to really start providing some more sideways stability. I mean, at least there is no wind in this entire map. That would be completely ridiculous. And I guess that's where things do throw you off long term when you're playing online battles as well you have other people just trying to sabotage you other people to just race against other people to be playing mind games against and it, it does add up but at least this just lets you just focus on what you need to do and race against the water which i'm honestly just kind of smashing at the moment i'm liking what i'm seeing i don't even want to look at what my score was but i just picked up and saw that it was 427 i'm just trying to get that in there but it won't go in oh my goodness that is probably going to kill me now that i've just missed two of those pieces oh no i missed my first half block that is not going to be good for me right then and there it just spells the end as soon as that starts happening but oh i just got another vine and i will be using it just to try and lock all of that together before it gets too big i mean I'm not too sure if i just went ahead and made a very very top heavy tower which is seemingly crumbling for some reason i don't know if the water log has just got to it or what but that's so unfair no i was so close to my personal best or i don't know if i was ahead of it or not and then i just lost the entire tower ah oh, that's such a shame and i don't know what happened it was what slamming it down or what either way my personal best isn't half bad clearly in in my perspective of the entire thing i don't get how that works i just lost like a hundred it felt like it was going so well either way now i just want to be moving on and attempting my i would say worst one i mean we can see if it's my worst one but historically i would say i lose the most survival matches just some people just seem to be able to fly through the pieces which is not in this entire segment here but my goodness some people are so good at just clinging to anything possible oh my goodness i did not realize that survival was going to be having waves just like it does in online and really the fast pieces i always forget how many pieces there are i expected to be two or three and i think it's actually four was that four either way it was more than three it was definitely four or five and it's just not fun especially starting off with a fast piece you are not something that i want and then as soon as i'm just starting to get a little bit set it just wants to go ahead and throw another one at me hopefully that should just go down there or once again i'm not ready for multiple pieces stop giving me multiple i don't want your island if you could give me something else that would also be nice a bit of a vine perhaps you know anything like that that just helps me lock it all in would be lovely a concrete while during a wave oh that would be fantastic what are you going to be ice okay uh sure this one hopefully i can just come down here and slot that in yes 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 yes, yes. you can go down here at least there's no wind to have to worry about that entire thing getting pushed out and oh my goodness let me just quickly use the concrete and just slam it down there and give me a nice wide base not like what i did last time but just really giving me as many options to be placing things down over here under here oh i stuffed it oh that's a really bad one i wish i had a lightning right about now but that is going to absolutely ruin me long term i mean holy moly that is some speed right about there i don't know where i lost my other one and that's it 
All because of one piece. I was about to say I probably can beat my personal best, but not at that rate. Not when I just stuff up one like that. That was a pretty ruthless piece to be stuffed up on, and surely I can beat that if I just don't do a silly mistake like that. Working my way back up though, and I'm fairly happy with how the entire thing is traveling. However, this piece is going to be stuffing me as I really want to rotate it, but I cannot do it. There we go. I guess that will have to do. There's no other option. It just has to be what it has to be. Just working with whatever the game throws at me, as that's all you can really do. However, now I do have my vines and before I just get to the next one whatever this is a bit of speed hey I might just yeah do a bit of that just make sure that everyone oh my goodness that's not what I expected no see why did that fall off it was a two and a two it shouldn't fall off is it the speed that throws it off I didn't slam it down I didn't do anything like that I will concrete you right at the last second just to really just widen my base up again but there's no reason that that one should have fallen off I don't get it is it a little bit of a tower holy moly a little bit of a tower tilt that is outrageous what that just was uh that was not ready for that at all but yeah is it a little bit of tower tilt as it hits that throws it off is it uh, i don't know what else could it be it's just a perfectly balanced piece that sometimes they do stay and you're gonna fall aren't you you absolute bastard there we go and you're both gonna fall and that's gonna be the end of me at 36 points again what is up with 36 points is it just i don't know i can't get past it Oh, but here we go. This is the start of dreams. Just a nice wide base from the very get-go. Just yellow and purple bringing home the bacon. Look at this. Everything is just perfectly stacking up. And I do wonder how much the starts are a certain particular formula where if every single start is in a... I don't know, a series of eight in terms of you can only ever have eight different combinations of starts. What are you going to be? You're just speed. This can then come over here and go down there. This can come over here and go down there. Hopefully you stay. And then I was not ready for the last one. Oh no. See, that's what I mean. I'm just ready for three and it always catches me off guard somehow. I don't know what I can do about that one. I mean, maybe eventually I can concrete above it, but for now, that's really going to be stuffing me. Ah, oh, man, but like I was saying, I do wonder how much the start plays into what the high score will be. I mean, do generally people just able to deal with it? I really wanted just to be concreting that, and I decided that last minute, but hey, at least I got rid of both of them for one life. That is all right by me. Now, with this piece of concrete, it can just go straight down there, and that will be just fine by me. Wave 3, and I'm very, very happy about that, considering Wave 3 is bringing the big pieces, and I need all the platform I can possibly be getting just to be able to see and able to play place everything through there. Holy moly, my goodness, that's just so rude. That's a 36 pieces again. Why did I have to do that to me? It's just fast, big pieces. How am I ever meant to possibly fit that in with anything? I mean, I'll put that down and then hopefully lock it all together. But still, like I said, how can you possibly be fitting those kind of pieces in with your tower? It's not like you know what you're going to be getting and go, oh yes, I have the perfect spot for you. No, that's ridiculous. I mean, now I'm on 42 and so if I can just not make a silly mistake, please don't make a silly mistake, but you can just go down there. Oh no, Wave five ice, please. Okay, that's all right. Then this guy can go. Um, uh, I don't like it. Uh, no, 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 47. No, that's so unfair. I couldn't do anything with it. And of course, I tied. Where could I possibly have put that? Maybe cantilever it over the other side, but I was worried that it would have pulled it and the yellow piece off, and then I would have been in the same position. All but 47. So beat it by one. Ah, either way, it's just so crazy when it just chucks something your way. And on top of what I was going to say was the fact that I never really am in the mindset of looking at what the next piece is. I'm not that good of a Tetris player as of yet, but my goodness, I just don't know how you possibly also deal with it just throwing big pieces and vines and ice and then locking them in the worst possible piece location. Once again, though, I'm fairly happy with how this entire thing has started out. Everything seems fairly nice and locked in. I can just put you over there, put you down there, put this over here, and I'm just trying to make an effort to really look about what the next piece is going to be you are not a piece that i expected to be getting and i can't do anything with it because i wanted the next piece to be working in and going right in that hole either way at least i managed to make it work just because of the vines if i didn't have the vines it would have been a very 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 different story this piece can just come down here and hopefully slot in there yes 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 and then that means you can go on there but still i've just realized that once again i'm just reactionary just seeing the piece and then making the decision instead of looking about what the next piece is and going oh yes i can at least just know where i need to be putting it beforehand but wave two what's it going to be speed no it just goes straight on down with a big old piece and then another big old piece oh can i get you over there in time good 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 you go down there this one sure oh it did stay i was wondering if it was going to do what i was afraid of, of last time and just pull it off but that entire tower isn't happy once again it's giving me an island but i'm not even wanting to look at it because i just don't think 
I can really work around them. I know that it can provide structural support, but okay, speaking of structural support, I will absolutely be taking that. You are not going to stay, are you? Three. Oh, please give me the vine. No, 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 no. It took so long. Oh, it, the spores killed me, and then that's going to kill me as well. Oh, that's such a shame. And no, that's now two lives. Oh, what a difference that made. That half a second pause absolutely ruined me. It would have been perfect and just locked everything together, but it just managed to tip over. Oh, Oh, I'm so dirty on that entire thing. Either way, what is Rally M4 going to be? Okay. Oh, and locked. I just tried to rotate it, but I can't. See, what do I do with that? How can I possibly do anything with that? If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, game. Um, uh, sure, concrete. Just b to lock it all in before the entire thing. Oh, well, it didn't lock it in as I wanted, and that is going to be it. Wave, not wave, 48. Seemingly is my best. Or 49, so I beat it by two. New high score from 46 to 47 to 49. Slow, minor improvements, but still, when you get fast big pieces and then locked big pieces and then locked pianos just going down and doing your scales, I don't get it. I really don't, and uh, so I'd love to know. I would continue to try to improve on just looking at what the next piece is. That's a major thing. But how do you possibly deal with the curveballs? I mean, that's just like a mastery. That's like a sixth sense you would have to have to deal with that. And some people do have it, but I haven't developed that third eye just of yet.